Good afternoon, and thank you for joining the Refreshing Point. Today I will be sharing with you how iron supplement compounds encourage the formation of cancer-causing free radicals. Iron is a mineral essential for life and is found in red blood cells. Iron's primary role is to carry oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body. The body needs a certain amount of iron for healthy blood cells, but beyond this rather small amount, iron becomes a dangerous substance. Most of us are unaware that excess iron generates free radicals that damage cells and encourage a buildup of bad LDL cholesterol. Too much iron, specifically from dietary supplements, may promote cancer. According to a new study of cancer cells from Chalmers University of Technology, Sweden, two common iron compounds increase the formation of a known cancer biomarker. The two compounds, ferric citrate and ferric EDTA, are often used in dietary supplements and as a food additive in the U.S. and the EU. They are commonly a part of fortified foods, but the types of iron used are rarely listed on supplement bottles or ingredients lists. Currently, there are many different types of iron supplements on the market. These can be based on at least 20 different iron compounds and sold under a wide range of brands. The researchers studied ferric citrate and ferric EDTA, which have both previously been shown to worsen tumor formation in mice with colon cancer. The science behind this has been little understood until now, and possible effects on human cells were not previously investigated. The new study, which was in collaboration with the UK Medical Research Council and Cambridge University looked at the effect of normal supplemental doses of these compounds on two types of cultured human colon cancer cells. As a comparison, they also measured the effects of ferrous sulfate, another very commonly available iron compound. While ferrous sulfate had no effect, both ferric citrate and ferric EDTA caused an increase in cellular levels of a biomarker for cancer. This was the case even at low doses. Nathalie Shears, assistant professor of Chalmers University of Technology and lead writer on the study said, quote, we can conclude that ferric citrate and ferric EDTA might be carcinogenic as they both increase the formation of amphiregulin, a known cancer marker most often associated with long-term cancer with poor prognosis, end quote. Ferric sulfate is one of the most common iron compounds, but ferric citrate, which is said to be gentler for the stomach, is also widely used in supplements. It's also more easily absorbed through foods such as bread, beans, and nuts. An age-old iron remedy is organic, unsulfured blackstrap molasses. Prepare hot water as you would for tea. Add one tablespoon of molasses. Stir the molasses well until it's dissolved in the hot water. If you don't like the taste, you can add a peppermint tea bag to offset the flavor. Some people just take it by the spoonful. This tea contains up to 30% of the daily recommended intake of iron. A person that is sugar sensitive may wish to give this remedy a pass. Another easy way to get iron in your diet without taking supplements is by eating iron-rich foods such as spinach, kale, lentils, raisins, dried apricots, prunes, nuts, seeds, seafood, and brown rice. In addition to these foods, you should consume produce that contain vitamin C, since vitamin C is crucial for the body to absorb iron from food. Always remember to make informed decisions with the help of your preferred health practitioner. Thank you for watching. Good day and good health.